guys, welcome back to Sandy Bay. So, on yesterday's, well, on yesterday's in-game day, we managed to finish off with Field 2, and we also started on what is now the new home field. So, if we come into our map, what we've done is we've ploughed a massive big section into the field in between the sheep paddock and our farm which we've dubbed home field so what we did was we got it ploughed we got it cultivated overnight uh, we were on the way of getting it ploughed during the game or in game day for yesterday which was about a week ago sorry about the delay we've just had a few things going on so I needed to take time out to get that sorted out but anyway, we're here. So what you would also remember is that we purchased the John Deere, the little 6405, and we also purchased the field bin, which is now full of lime. So the plan for today is pretty simple. We've got to get the soil sampling done for the new home field. We've then got to get it planted, fertilized, and spread with lime. Now, what we also may look at doing today is potentially, and I know I said this in the last in-game day as well, potentially bringing the sheep across. We'll see how we're doing for time. But something else we could look at is starting to set up for the cow feed. So some form of TMR or whole crop silage mixer. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll get this guy going. So we'll quickly run around the field. We'll get the samples taken, we'll get them sent off. And as soon as they come back, we can get started on the work. Now, something we probably will look into purchasing is Field 28, just so we do own all the fields on our property. So if we come into here, you can see 28 is essentially a part of our block. So we'll probably end up purchasing that within the series just remember this series is it is basically a uh, pastime until FS22 however we will be waiting for decent mods and so on to be released for 22 before we can get into any sort of real gameplay the way that we like to play it so what we may end up doing is continuing this season on or continuing this series on after the release but very minimal probably one episode a week just until we get to what we believe would be a, a reasonable finishing point right so we want to send off the samples fold that up and we'll get this put away all right so while we wait for them to come back we'll get down, we'll get the drill feed up, filled up with seed still plenty of fertilizer in it because we didn't actually touch that because we uh, we pre-spread fertilizer which we didn't actually have to do okay so what was that, it was 1200 Sorry guys, just writing down costs so we don't forget about them. That way we can figure out where we're up to. And how we're tracking. So obviously drilling this new field also helps us out with a little bit of income. Now where we start today is minus $1,790,978. 
that is still going to keep going down. I'd probably expect it to be around the 1.9 million, maybe not even that far, before we start making money. But we're fine with that. Okay, so we want to refill the sew up. Now, what I probably end up looking into is either a seed tender or another filled bin. Let's just get rid of those. Actually, no, we're going to want that up. Um, yeah, so we'll probably look into a seed tender or another field bin, as I said, for the seed. Um, potentially one for the fertilizer as well. We may end up flattening out this ground up here so as we can pl place a few things. But we'll see how we go. Now, what was the plan for this field? So we've got barley in, we've got clover in and we've also got filled grass in so do we go with something like alfalfa or do we put in another crop like a canola or a sunflower for instance let's bring up our seasons menu okay so we can do canola Soybeans we can't do until tomorrow. We do need canola for the cows if I'm not mistaken. No, we need whole crop silage. It says nothing about. It. Don't need it for the sheep. Soybeans, corn or barley, so we've got bar but we don't have chickens anyway. We didn't bring chickens across. Um, what about if we put a cheapy in, like wheat for instance? No, because we don't have anything to do the whole crop silage just yet. We'll stick canola in and we'll start to look at getting some cash back. Now, one of the other plans for today is to go through what we've got in our silo already from when we purchased the farm and figure out what we don't need, what we can use for other things and also what we can sell off. We'll start selling some off, create some space in the silo and also get a little bit of coin back into the bank account rather than have it going down every day. But anyway guys, what we'll do is we will get this pretty much done on a time lapse we'll get the headland complete and we'll probably throw it over to a worker after that, we'll see. Uh, if we don't end up putting it over to a worker, what we might do is we'll just cut a section out of the middle of the time lapse. But anyway, we shall see you guys when the music stops. So we've put a worker under that. What we're going to do is concentrate on some other tasks. If we can get the uh, pellets off of the forks. Okay, so the plan is we'll start looking at these crops. 
that are in the shed. So we need to find our trailer lock, which should just be down here. what we'll quickly do. Ah, yes, also another thing we did last night was I went back through and I figured out the hours for the equipment we brought across. So we got 24, it was roughly 24 and a half in total, including the six hours we've already used on this map for the voucher. So we're now at 24.8 hours. And we're also at approximately four hours on the case, but so the harvester. But we haven't used that yet, so I'll update that when it comes time to use it. All right, so what we need to do is figure out what we've got in here, what we don't need, and what's going for a good price. <coughs> So we've got 47,000 litres of wheat. We don't need all of that. We've also got 15,000 litres of sunflowers, 15,000 litres of soybeans. So I reckon they may be the first ones to go. We'll leave the canola in there until we've done our harvest. But let's get rid of the soybeans. Decent sized trailer, should easily fit all of it. Yeah. Okay, so where are we going? Oh, we're just going down to the end here, so nice quick trip. I do believe the uh, the sunflowers were at the same place for the best price. So we'll more than likely get that done as well. Get our hazards on. So this should start pumping money into the farm rather than out of it. So that's a good thing. We may have to buy some more seeds or and fertilizer today. I reckon it'll be more so fertilizer. Don't reckon we're gonna use all of those seeds on that home field. But anyway, We'll see you down at, what is the name of this place? The Dairy Hall Stores. Oh, look out. We seem to have encountered a uh, slight problem. These guys aren't open yet. That's okay. We can wait. I do believe it's eight o'clock, not nine. If it is nine, then we're gonna be waiting for a while. But I don't think anyone else needs to get in there before we do. Well, get off the road before we get run over. So what else do we have in here? I don't think we've got any of this stuff. Rye, filled grass, no we don't. Alright, so, like I said, we'll take care of the soybeans, we'll sell off the sunflowers, the corn I think we can use. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys once the shop's open, we'll bring you back in for the sale. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll run up, we'll get the, uh, the sunflowers into the trailer and we'll bring you back in for the sale of them as well. Okay guys, welcome back. Five past eight, we are uh, we let time go a little bit too far. But we're back in. We're about ready to sell off our first load. Let's just 
straighten that tractor up so we're ready to drive straight out. And let's see how much we make for this one. Twenty five two four three. That's not bad. Okay, so we'll run back up to the farm, we'll grab the, the what did I say we'll grab it? The sunflower seeds, yes. We'll grab them and we'll see you guys when we get back down here. Okay guys, change of plans. We've just had a quick look and the sunflowers are paying a little bit, not a great deal, but a little bit better just across the road here at, what did we say the name of that place was? Portview Closed Stores. So we'll run across to there. Now it is only $50 per thousand litres better, but that is an extra $50 over 15. So it's an extra grand and a half thereabouts. No, no, sorry, it's not. It's an extra $750, roughly. Then again, my maths may be way off. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments whether you think I should have stayed in school longer. Anyway, we'll take you for the drive over here. We'll get this stuff off, sold off. Like I said, as for the canola, we're going to leave that in the silo. Oh, oh. I think we may be a little bit too big for this little laneway. Maybe it was just for the entrance. But anyway, we'll get over here. So yeah, let me know down in the comments whether you think I should have uh, stayed in school, paid more attention or whatever. And let me know how far off my maths actually was. What we'll do is we'll go back to the farm through the, the back entrance. Up through where our gator is stored. I come in here now I th think from memory we need to reverse this trailer into here no we should have enough space to turn that around we shall soon find out hit the wall. We're stuck in the wall. So another 20,748. Not bad, not bad. We're uh Bringing a little bit of that lost revenue back. Oh, oh. Driving over poles. I reckon we get rid of the wheat. Because we've got a lot of it. And we'll take it down to the Sandy Bay stores. And this will test how much the trailer actually holds.
Looks like it might be about 40,000 litres. Nope, 39,800. So that actually leaves us with 7,000 litres of wheat, which we'll hold on to. So that's good. Alrighty. Okay. So we want to take this to Sandy Bay Stores Dock 2. Where are we going? Ah, all the way down to the end. Okay guys, so we'll bring you back in when we get down there. Oh, didn't swing anywhere near hard enough, uh, hard enough there. That's what we'll do. Try it again. There we go. So yeah, that should be around the $20,000 mark again, which which really helps. $25, I was off. $25,503. Okay, so we're already looking at $70,000 of income just on today, selling off goods from the silo. Okay, I reckon we're better off trying to reverse into that little section. And we'll pop a U-turn in, well, a turn in there to get back out. Okay guys, we'll see you back up at the farm. And we will decide what it is we're going to do first. After we've had a look to see how well... Old Mate Worker is going with our seeding. And he's still got a little bit less than half of the paddock to go. So we'll let him continue on with that. He can also do the spreading once he's done. What we'll do though is we'll just make sure this is full, ready for him. It's not We'll just fill it up. What this guy can do is sit over here and we're going to have a look at whether we bring the sheep back or whether we buy some form of a uh, forage mixer for the cow feed. So we're going to want to look in animals. Pretty sure we're going to need something along the lines of one of these eventually to shred our bales got an 8,000 litre mixer there. I don't think that's going to be enough. Considering we are bringing in, how many is it? 30 cows? 31 cows. Okay, 8,000 litres is definitely not going to be enough. We will eventually invest into the goods transport. We will also need a, uh, a liquids trailer for the milk. 17,000 litres, that's $40,000 though. Eh? Pretty sure they're only going to get more expensive from here. We do have tidy shop on, so it does put them in order of cost. I reckon we'll probably end up going with that one. $15 for registration, yeah we may as well register it actually. 48000 Okay, then obviously you just keep going up in price, Silo King. Now our other option is, I should have the mod installed. You could always make up one of these. But they're expensive. And big. They take up a lot of room. 
So we won't look at that one. Da, 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 da. Factories production, we've got the fermenting silo. That doesn't help us. Don't need cell stations, silos and crops. That's a silo to store, that's not a silo to create. There's another miscellaneous. Yes, there they are. So eighty thousand dollars. Not sure what sort of capacity that holds though. So we've got the forage mixer for eighty nine or the mixed ration for eighty. How big is that? Because I have had them there previously. Okay, so after all that time wasted, I reckon we are better off grabbing which one was it? This guy here. Ah, we had a delivery cost there. 1206. Keep forgetting to turn store deliveries off. So, minus 1206. Store delivery. And we purchased, what was that? The Keenan Mech Fiber. 105 horsepower to run it, so we've got plenty. So, where has that been delivered to? Ah, all the way down there in the sheep paddock. Ah, that's right, because that's where we got our tractor delivered to. Okay, so we will just get this put away for now. So what does it take? Maize silage, WCS fermented, hay straw, grass silage, horse silage, clover silage, alfalfa fermented. We can put soybeans, canola in there. We can put the duca range into it. We can put molasses, filtered water, beet pulp silage, BG silage, beet shreds and sugar beet into it. Now we obviously don't need to use all of that. That's what we can use to make up our feed. We'll drop that there. We don't actually need you. What we will do though is close that off. Oh, no, no, no. We want to get outside of there. So we'll close that. Now we actually want to shift, alt, and R. That'll put that back down to the shop. We don't want to pay for delivery. What we want to do is animal transport. Now, how many sheep have we got? We'll bring the sheep across, but we won't bring the cows across yet. The sheep, we have 24 white sheep to bring across. So, we need something that's going to hold approximately 20 sheep. But it only holds three cows. So that's not going to help us out. So what we might do is we'll actually get our sheep delivered. It's probably going to work out better. So what we'll do, we'll jump in the tractor. It's pretty much got that done, so we can get him looking at doing the lime spreading next. And then that will be another field done. And what we're going to do is turn that into a carrot farm, I reckon. Or a carrot field. So what we actually need to do is find out where 
the animal dealer is for the sheep. No, it's all the way up here. So we had white sheep. What do we want? Do we want Dorsets, Merinos or Dorpers? Dorpers. A medium sized breed that grows fast but produces no wool. Very prolific and fast maturing. Requires little feed as an adult. No, we don't want that. We're not breeding them to sell off as meat. We want the wool. Medium breed used for wool production. Grows slowly. Is not very prolific but doesn't require a lot of food as an adult. Large breed of sheep that grows moderately fast, has modest wool production, and requires a medium amount of feed as an adult. Ooh. We'll bring the Dorsets in, I reckon. Dorsets. So we want 24 of these. We'll reimburse ourselves because we already had sheep. Um, but we will pay the $2,500 delivery fee. So... Minus 2,400 sheep delivery. So we want to reimburse 11,845. Confirm. So we'll quickly jump in there. We owned the sheep, we just paid delivery fees. So 11,485. Turns out we won't be turning that into a carrot field. I didn't think the sheep went all the way up there. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll give them some water. Sheep have no food. Productivity and cleanliness will come up eventually. Um, so what we need to do is Checking seasons. Meadow Grove Farm Sheep. Why have he's come into there and not into the Sandy Bay Sheep Pasture? Uh, okay, it is what it is. Deca beet chips, grass silage, alpha, hay, clover, grass, clover, fresh maize. Okay, so. We really need to get on to giving these guys something to eat. And from now on, we do need to make sure these gates are closed every time we go through them. Okay, so. We've got none of that stuff in storage. They do have 850 litres of grass in there. So we don't have to worry about that. They'll continue to just eat the grass from that pasture. But what I think we need to do is there. That's a farm barn. I don't think we can actually buy. Bales there. What can we buy from the store? Pretty sure we've got sheep. Sheep food. That's just fresh, uh, fresh cut grass. We want something a bit better than that. Duke of beet chips. Okay, they're the ones we want. So let's let's just grab two pallets of that. We'll grab one of them.
650. Ah. We need to figure out which bill. How much we just spent on those Duca beet chips. 2200. Okay, so we'll quickly get this done. Old mate said he finished, but obviously he was never going to get this little piece up here because he was facing A, the wrong direction, and he was also down at the other end of the paddock. And if you look pretty carefully, we, uh, we almost ran out of fertilizer. Like, we had the perfect amount. I reckon we're gonna use up what we've got left here just to do this little strip. Three, two, no, we didn't. Anyway, so we can turn that off. That is planting done for quite some time. Until we've got a harvest done or we've made the money to purchase field 28 down below the cattle there. But we'll get this put away. We will wash it off probably tomorrow. We've got a lot going on today so we just want to get our work done. get this guy onto the lime spreader and we'll get him underway. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the, the Range Rover, or the Land Rover sorry, to our little car trailer and we are going to take that down to the store they'll load the pallets and the bale on that we've just purchased. The worker can take care of that. Okay guys, so we're back here at the farm. We've uh, dropped off the bale of silage and we've also dropped off a pallet of beet chips for the sheep. Uh, we did buy two pallets. The second pallet we've just thrown up into one of the sheds out the back of the farm. That can stay there for now. So what we'll do is we'll go and put this away. Park him back up at the homestead. Turn that beacon off, we don't need that anymore. And we will jump into this guy. Ah, yes. Also, while we're on the way out, the lime spreader ran out of lime. We really are going to need to increase the capacity that we can carry as far as lime is concerned. Just drop that off there. Put that on the back. need to do some leveling there, don't I? Bring that up because we want to smooth. No, didn't want to do that. That's okay. That's a lot better. Should only have the two trailers parked there anyway. Uh, 
Now, what we need to do is see if we can lift this pallet up and get it to put the beak chips into the feed trough because where we just threw it off the side of the trailer it uh it didn't empty so we'll have a look at that mm, not sure why it's not taking the beet chips Let's, let's put it on properly. Now I'm not sure why that's not taking it. Anyway, we're not going to leave them out here. What we might do... Uh, it does say that it's at 100%. So what we might do is... We'll just go and store these out in the back shed for now. Alright, so this is the back shed where we put the other pallet. So we'll just drop this one down beside it. The voucher can get put away. leave this one over here um, but yeah we're gonna have to figure out how we can uh, get rid of the weeds that will be a tomorrow job all right so we'll go and jump in the dots we'll bring you guys back in once the once the line has been spread Okay, so turns out we've uh, exhausted all of our lime. So what we'll do is we'll run this old girl back around. Perfect little farm tractor, just for towing the auger, you know, the auger bin, the field bin. We did need to open it up. So we'll get this. Uh, don't think we need to top it all the way up. But we will go to about 8,000 litres. See if we can uh, do a tight little U turn down in here. So that is that filled 100% good to go. So that is the canola filled, or what has affectionately been dubbed the home filled. I reckon this guy can live in here. This guy can live in here. Now, 
Sort of need to figure out why we couldn't get food or the beet chips into the sheep. We also do need to look at getting them some hay and some carrots. So we'll buy a square hay bale and we will also buy, there should be a carrot bin in here somewhere. There we go, let's get two of those. Now once again we will run down to the shop in Land Rover and just run along this ledge to get back around to our house oh, through the trees oh, prickly alright so we'll run down we'll get these guys to load up the trailer for us and we'll see you guys when we get back what we'll do is we will feed what we can to the sheep And I reckon we'll call it a day there, guys. It's been a fairly eventful, fairly eventful uh, episode. We've now got three paddocks on the go, or three fields on the go, plus that little slither of field grass down below the power lines on field one. We've got our sheep on the farm. Ah yes, I have to remind myself that we need to pay for the cows to be stored. Now we have halved our animal payment obviously because we've brought our sheep across, they're now just storing our cows for us. And what we'll need to do is go through, double check our finances at the end of the day, figure out where we're at. Oh, not a great camera angle that one. Oh, oh we need to slow down. Alright you guys, we'll, uh, we'll see you back at the farm. Okay guys, so we're back. Uh, what we've done is we've parked the Land Rover down beside the sheep. We'll grab the voucher, we'll come down, we'll unload the hay bale and the two bins of carrots. See how much they take. If they don't take it all, what we'll do is we will load up and we'll go and put it all in a shed just so as it doesn't disintegrate on us. Not sure that the carrots would, but I'd oh, probably help if I go a little bit deeper in. That did take some. Let's let's just have a look. Ah, they only needed 500 litres of that. So we will definitely get those two bales put away. We don't want to be, lo be losing any of that stuff to seasons. As we know, seasons will uh, will definitely cause the bales to drop down. Alright, so we're going to struggle to get those off I reckon. Going to require some uh, Pretty precise fork movements. Right, apparently it'll let us get that one off and throw it across the paddock. <laughs> Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Let's see how many of these carrots they take. They're not taking any of them. 
What about if we... take some. Surely they needed more than that though. No, right, 100 litres. So we've definitely spent our money well. Now excuse the uh, the way we're picking these up. Get it done. We'll get these put away. Definitely get that put away before we lose it. Um, we've also got got those hay bales beside the shed that we need to really move. So we've got to find somewhere we can store those. So what we'll do is we'll do that off camera. We'll get all this stuff put away. Now, three o'clock in the afternoon. We've had a long three, four days of getting stuff set up and getting these fields all done to a point where no, why didn't that get close getting all these fields to a point where we can now wait for the game to do its magic and tell us whether or not we've successfully started to grow a crop but anyway, these are the bales I was talking about. Chances are we've already lost some. Oh no. They haven't, uh, haven't disintegrated yet. So we'll get that done off camera. We'll get them stored away. And we will see you guys for tomorrow's in-game date. Thank you very much for joining in, guys. If there's anything you want to see done on the farm, please leave a comment. Do you reckon we should... Uh, no, I don't think we should touch this. If anything, all we should do is probably plough it in and plant just standard grass. But yeah. Any ideas like that, please do leave a comment. Don't forget to like the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for future upcoming episodes. Okay guys, thanks for joining in. We'll see you next time.